hoping to win his guests over with some tried and true cookery skills is our last host, 50-year-old rock-loving property developer, Rob. Rock out! Yeah, feet off the table, please, Rob. Thank you. So, what are you going to be doing for us today? It's basically local food from a local lad. All the food is sourced within five miles of this house. You've got to feel what it's like with fresh food. Ashes food last night, I can beat that easy. Bold claims. Okay, okay. But even the tipple tycoon himself, Ash, can taste a watered down evening when he throws one. I'm dirt. I wouldn't be shocked if I don't win, um, but I definitely think I tried my hardest and I, put, I did, definitely did put everything into it. Unfortunately, like a martini, the evening was a little dry. I really can't stand mint. A taste of the exotic was offered up on night one, with half-Arabic host Sara making her play for the grand with some Middle Eastern-inspired tucker. So I will not be offended if the flavours are a bit too much for you. I think maybe my personality did come a little bit too much into my menu. I think I did take a massive risk, which I don't think paid off at all. Yes, more middle of the road than Middle Eastern. Sara pulled in the lowest score of the week with 23. Second night saw beginner builder Dale bulk up on quantity. Not your average tower. When he treated his guests to an informal night of comfort food. Just pretend like you're at a mate's house having a takeaway. I think my night was a success. The food did go down well. Maybe the portions were a bit on the larger size. But with big portions come big points. Well, 26 anyway. But it was Wednesday night's host, accident-prone council worker Vicky, that really pushed the boat out. I would never, ever, ever put lamb and beetroot together, but 10 out of 10 for creativity, because it works so, so well. I definitely think that my food was above what we've had so far. Definitely think it was higher standard. And your guests would agree, as they scored you 27. So not a lofty sum for Rob to beat. If he can crack the food, it'll all be down to his personality. I think the group love me now. Um, I came in with arrogance and attitude. I've still got arrogance and attitude, but now they know who I am and the real me. I'm not sure that's quite true, Rob. Now, he's the only person I feel like I don't actually know. I think he puts on such a front that you don't actually get to know him. I think he enjoys being the centre of attention, so I think something like tonight will be right up his street. I think Rob's going to be quite exotic, quite experimental with his food. I'd be quite surprised if it was a bit of meat and two veg. It's not cordon bleu, it's not something fancy, it's good old-fashioned meat. And everybody likes meat. Well, not everyone. <laughs> Rob kicks off his carnivorous quest with his starter, porky pudding stack. <laughs> I did think it would be a little bit more out there, a little bit more exotic. That sounds quite meaty, quite filling. I've got a really bad feeling it's black pudding. Fresh black pudding. Killed the other day. Sorry, Vicky. Everybody makes starters with tiny little fish or something covered in garlic and snail vomit. Snail vomit? Where have you been eating? You're going to have Cumberland sausage, you're going to have black pudding, you're going to have an egg. Whether you like it or not, eh? Rob slices up his black pudding for the baking tray, then takes out his Cumberland sausage. There's only one butcher left in my local town, so he makes it himself. To mix things up a bit, he also adds chicken and lamb sausages. It was bleating and mooing maybe 48 hours ago. And now they're going to be baking in an oven. Meat sorted, Rob prepares his eggs. Neat trick. Eggs bagged and stacked, they're into the fridge to poach later. It's the final night in Cumbria, and the turn of rock-loving property developer Rob to treat his guests to an evening of locally sourced chow in an attempt to win a £1,000 prize. I'm just going to speak through my food. I'm going to put it out there, they're going to love it, and it's all mine. Rob whips out his baked sausage fest, hacks into pieces, then fries the ends till crispy. This is heart attack in a pan. And to prove it's not all about meat, he slices up lettuce. Greens? Is it worth it? No. Rabbits don't live forever. <laughs> yeah, but they sure can hop. Rob buries the greenery under a mound of brown, then dunks his egg bags into boiling water for a quick poach. Well, I think we're going to be fine. 
Egg done. There it is. Lettuce. Under three types of sausage and black pudding. Ladies first. Thank Good luck, Vicky. Can I ask what sausages they are, please, Rob? Yeah. The largest ones are Cumberland sausage. This is a lamb and mint, and these are the chicken. OK. Start with a uh, sausage salad, which is something I've never had before. I'm not a black pudding fan, I'll, I'll be honest. It's definitely my sort of thing. Do you like it? Yeah, definitely. So it was an all-English breakfast, in my opinion, but um, it was lush, <laughs> nonetheless. I have found a little bit of um, snot on my egg, so I'm not going <laughs> to eat the rest of that. I don't really <clears throat> like my egg served with the shell. <laughs> You got the surprise. Once I see a bit of shell in egg, it makes me feel that like crunchy feel. A bit of shell went into an egg, but don't make a big meal about it. Would anybody Would like more? mine? Yeah, yeah who would yeah, I go? Yeah. I thought you might guess. I think they're trying to knock the big dog down, but it ain't gonna happen. With the girls turning their noses up at Rob's sausage salad, Vicky wants to get under the skin of her host. So, Rob, I don't think we've really got to know you yet. Mm -hmm. Who are you and what do you do for a job? I basically do property development. Ooh. Really? Mm -hmm. Property development, just recently, in the last year, I've All right. mainly kicked off, yeah. uh, set off by having a house, and I thought, right. this can make me some money. Yeah. So, Are you actually motivated by money? Not at all. When you retire, a lot of people retire too late. I don't want to be that person with regret. I just want to have fun. Has that cleared it up for you, Vicky? I've not a clue about who Rob is. At all. Well, that's a no, then. I would put money below everything else in my world. It's nice to say your money isn't everything, but at the end of the day, if somebody offered you a million pounds or a thousand pounds, which one are you going to take? I'm grabbing the million. Not if I get there first. I'll clear your place, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the boys have already done that. The starter was hit and miss, but the main, I'm hoping, and I'm sure it will pull it in. <laughs> 